What's up, Tanky230? Hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to Dishonored 2. Will Tengu ever beat this game? I believe I talked to both of you in the last episode, whichever that was. I don't remember. I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes. But there might be some resemblance. They did from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. Did I do that last time? I don't remember. It just seems all new to me. I haven't even watched... Ooh, you close the door. I was gonna leave that way. Anyway, welcome to this next part of this honor too. Megan, I mean, we're gonna be you and Death of the Outsider in the next Dishonored game, which is a spin-off, and you're the main character. Where are we? I mean, I know where we are, Karnaka, but I was like, I don't remember where we're going. Oh yeah, that's right, the Tom Cruise run. I forgot about that. Is Megan coming here? Or Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. Let's wait till she gets here. I feel like I, sh I should. Because she always says stuff before I leave. Is this going to be like a nighttime mission? Look at that bird. It's just... Staying there. The winds must be really strong. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? I am ready to go. Yes, let's go. I was trying to imagine, like, that's what it kind of looks like when I, when I put on a mask. Because, like, my knuckles are, like, right next to my eyeballs. <laughs> So, the Royal Conservatory, huh? Well, let me read this, because I'm not sure what, what I'm doing. So, while held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies. Oh, okay, Brianna Ashworth, an architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunlop. Oh, okay, Ashworth is powerful and full secret. She's building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Okay. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. I always want more options. Sometimes I don't know whenever I'm leaving, like, if it's a safe area. <laughs> So R is, Ooh. oh yeah, R is to use the elixir, I forgot. So search Brianna Ashworth's office. Over here is Liam Burns info. And well, we're going there first, for sure. Uh... How do I... I think it's hold F, right? Okay, no. Um, C is crouch. I've been playing some other games where, like, left control is crouch, so... It's getting a bit confusing wherever my fingers are 
going on the keyboard. We can talk to you in Death of the Outsider, but we're not, um, the Crown Killer is watching, but we're not Megan. Okay, it's good to know you're not bad people. Can I talk to you? I need new boots. Just don't fit right. First, I'll yell. My family and I moved here three years ago. Biggest mistake we ever made. It doesn't even seem like that voice came out of your mouth. Hey, can I talk to you? Go away. Oh, sorry. You've been warned. Sorry, man. I didn't know. Hey, you ran into me. Playing dice tonight. You started any shit around here. We're jumping in. Okay, sounds good. If things aren't bad enough, now I have to be on the lookout for some no gooder with a knife. Why me? Why is this? I'm gooder. I'm a gooder. I'm not a no gooder. I'm a gooder. Oh. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not. That was not good. <laughs> Let's reset that. I didn't know where the danger area was. All right, let's pick these up again. Oh, good. I missed the copper wire at that point too. Long as it takes. It reminds me of good times. That that reminds me of another one. Another story. Though his worst defense was silly, why That's not that bad. He struck her in the heart with an axe. While other children cowered in the cupboard. Jeez, man. And what's next? It's enough to leave my job to check on the grinder. Okay, so I'm going here then. Um, boink. Because this is for sure the sneaky way. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I should watch Nuke's video where he just kind of did a speed run on the whole thing. But then if oh come on, come on, come on! How? How do y'all? You, jeez, you guys see really well. I'm trying. I'm like crouched in everything. Vision's crazy. No. No, you don't. None of that. None of that, okay? Can you see me now up here? This is like high enough, isn't it? Oh, there's some stuff here. I feel like if I cross here, um, it's going to distract them. Look at what? What? I'm not in the mood. Show yourself. How? I'm not being sneaky enough or something? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, bad people. We gotta get up there. Sure, he knows how to talk. Oh man. What a lick spill. So we got one of the officers in red. So his information is down here. What an idea for a bottle of pear soda. There's three of you, right? Okay, so alright, let's uh Where's my domino? Seven, right? Okay, so domino. Okay. And uh right mouse button is to I'm trying to remember. It's the block, right? Dang, hold on, I gotta remember the buttons. Okay, yeah, it's right mouse button. Okay. Just a little quick save. And go! Jeez, I was like freaking. I was trying to remember because I didn't want to like accidentally kill him. Alright, I never. I never really use pistol bullets. Never really use the pistol. There's a dog in here. What's my... I forgot what my weapon wheel was. I think it was... Middle mouse button? Yeah, it was middle mouse button. Okay. So let's use some of that dark vision. So I can see inside. Okay, I'll be back. Bathroom break. Okay. 
We're back. Where am I going? I have to go down here. Wait, where is it? Oh, his information's down here. It's like down on the first floor or something. Oh, the conservatory is like right there. Interesting. Oh, there's, was I, see, I hear that dog yapping. All right, let's keep using this dark vision. It's saving. That means it's, I'm in an important area. Oh, what's up with this place? It's all smoky and stuff. I like how the light shines through, though. I don't think there's anybody in here. There's a painting I can steal? Nope. Wow, I have dark vision going on for days. Read. A representative from the Royal Conservatory confirmed today that the site's closure has been extended once again with no promise of when it might reopen. Curator Brianna Ashworth could not be reached for common readers will remember that an infestation of mites in the Roseboro exhibit forced the closure nearly six months ago, though there have been rumors that no exterminators have been hired. The Roseboro exhibit has to be a prestigious event. For, uh, for, sorry, sponsored by the Academy of Natural Philosophy with hopes of attracting numerous experts and guest lecturers from across the aisles. This important exhibition is now on hold indefinitely due to the extended closure. For help or for hopeful visitors, there is nothing to do but wait for future word. Let me get some coin. Um, not setting the alarm. Okay, well, let's open that. I gotta set the heart. I keep forgetting what number the heart is. Oh, it's five. Okay. So where are all the bone charms? The bone charms is there, there. There's, there's a rune down here, and they're all over there. So it's like it seems like the majority of them are inside the conservatory, but there is a rune here. So I'm gonna have to at least go for that. Here's where I took y'all out. Where's the bottom? I thought there was gonna be like a way down. Oh, I guess this is the way down. Oh, hey there. Is he sleeping? Cause I can't tell. Okay, let's uh, six it up. Wait, not six. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta seven it up. Is he sleeping? I hope there's nobody else in the room, correct? Okay, I'm just making sure. Do I have my darts? My sleeping darts? Oh, I do have my sleeping darts, okay. I got two left, so I gotta... Oh, and uh, zooming in is Z. Oh, he's got a helmet! I can't do the helmet. I gotta... I gotta poke him in the shoulder. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is he... Okay, he's good. He dropped his stuff. <laughs> Is that what happens when you just get poked? No. Uh, what's his problem? Snatched up from the beach village where he was born, and then indoctrinated by the Abbey at the age of 13. Now he's done the same to a dozen others. Wow. Crazy. Alright, uh, let's go this way. We are in the outpost. <laughs> I really hope nobody, uh, I mean, that door, like, yeah, you can kind of see through it, but you can't really. Uh, that's a lot of words, so we're gonna do that. Um, where can I place you? So that, wait, it's, it's eight. Eight is dark version. I just want to make sure there's nobody else in here, then I can just storm in the bathroom as usual. The commode. Ooh, this is the bedroom. Definitely not the commode. This is the commode. Of which I cannot close the door, so... Um, I think I'll just put you in the tub. As usual. Okay, here we go. Let's pick you up. Hold carry. Drop a Rooney right here. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't expect to toss you that far, but that's okay. Oh, there's some stuff on here. Little goodies. Grenade, grenade. Edermeyer solution. 
Um, anything else? Empty bottles? No. Wow. I wonder what kind of uh, deer that is. No painting. Wow, that is a huge coin. That coin is like the size of my palm. Keeps a gun under his bed. I like the sounds. It's like you can hear the, the air conditioning like rattling and everything. Okay, well, I think we're relatively safe, but let's go over here anyway. That's very hot because you can see the heat waves. Is there more... Is somebody sleeping there? Oh no. Just gotta check every avenue too. There could be like... Like random trap doors somewhere that like lead to... Lead to places. What the heck was that? Oh, I hit the tripwire. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there was a tripwire here. I was like, what's that? Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's check the thing. Alright, nobody noticed anything, so we're good. <laughs> but then, the, I mean, the door noticed it for sure. Audiograph. Use. What is this? Okay, so... I mean, I'm not going to remember that entire floor plan off the top of my head. I'm not Jason Bourne. Uh, can read that for later. I know that's the information I need. I'm just checking out other stuff that I can do before proceeding. And I also have to pick up the the room. I guess it's down here. It's a good thing nobody else lives in this apartment. Okay. Curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. That's a cool light. It's like I got like really cool information and I'm just like, that's a cool light. Um... Okay, so it's down here. What's up here? I'm just kind of curious. I mean, nobody, right? Uh, we gotta eat this. You're just making sure there's nobody near me. Wait, this is where I came from. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, man. I was like, I remember that dude's picture. So the room's over here. Ah, uh, what? It's still way underground. Whoop, 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 Hey there, what the heck? There's a person. Why is it always so dang hot? Why are you, why are you all like, super, like, like, sensitive to like, seeing things? Did I get spotted? I technically didn't get spotted, right? Yeah, we're still good. Okay. Jeez, okay, well, come on. This is probably be a good time to quick save then. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. So weird. Okay, so you're. There's poison here. Wait, I'm trying to remember if I can. Uh, do this while looking through, and I don't think we can. Does that again? The wake of type of blood fly nest. <laughs> Ooh, wait, 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 wait! I know, I know, I know. 
So, we'll do this. Wait, hold on, I gotta set this up, so I gotta go here, and then here, and then we're good. Okay, I didn't even, I was like, why, why did that not register in my brain? I don't know. Uh, I forgot I had these it stinging ones. Like rat piss today. Hold on, um, I gotta do this just in case, just so I know. Look sharp, she says. Stay awake, she says. Tell I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking so for. Alright, so they're, uh... <sighs> you guys are so weird. You're so weird. I'm gonna wait till you walk away. Until I... Hit you in the head with... With the... With the sleep dart. Tonight? Oh, you're, you're sleeping right where you're standing. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ooh, right on time. All right. Uh, okay, nobody else is here, right? Let's pick up some crossbow bolts and eat some rat skewers for some reason. Okay, howlers, going in. Um, I hope nobody sees you. Maybe I should take you up here. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's sleeping around this area, so one at a time, one at a time. I'll put you here. <laughs> Alright. They usually tell me where the black... What the... That is a weird sounding bird! If that was a bird, it could have been one of the howlers. Just remembering all those, uh... Those whistlers in, like, the the Last of Us part 2. The way they would communicate. That was actually, that was actually pretty cool, and a little terrifying. I haven't played it myself, but I've just seen the gameplay of it. Okay, let's do a little quickie save. And try to figure out how to get this room, which is down here. So I was I was up there, and they're like, hey, I see things, so maybe there's a way over here. Whoa, are you red? Yes, you are. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, let's do this. And then this. Wait, let's get a let's get a solution back. Where did you go? Okay, let's carry you. I think it might be through there. Okay, I'm just gonna store you here. Let's keep you warm, I guess. Huh? There you go. Enjoy. What are they looking at over here? Wanted Howlers. Oh, wow. They were just kind of like looking at themselves and stuff. Let's look at the keyhole because I don't know what's in here. Okay, I think we're okay. Is this their like territory or something? Oh, there is. Oh, there is. How many of you are there? I think I'm going to have that in the episode right now. This will be interesting to start it off in the next one. Yeah, because he's just kind of standing there. I don't know why that's purple, but I think it's just the effect of the dark vision. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we will end this episode of This Honor 2. Will Tengu beat this game here? So if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching. As always, take care. Tengu 230 out. All right, Charles. Give my everybody. And please keep smiling.